Hello everyone, welcome back. It's day three of my autumn fashion edit, aka my entire week of autumn hauls. I hope you're all enjoying the week so far. Um, if you guys watched Monday's Zara haul, you'll recognize this cute outfit. I've already worn it out to dinner already. I really, really like it. So make sure that you catch up on that video and yesterday's if you haven't already. I'll link them down below in the info box and also the playlist up here in the top right hand corner. Today's video is a pretty exciting one because it's something that I've never done before on my channel ever and it's a H&M haul. So uh, loads of you guys really, really wanted me to do H&M. I think also it's really cool because H&M is pretty much worldwide, whereas obviously some of my hauls are pretty much restricted to just the UK. So I really hope that some of my international subscribers and viewers can enjoy this haul as well. I was scrolling through H&M, they had like 10,000 things to look through. It took me all evening. Um, and I was a bit like underwhelmed, but thinking, mm, I'm not too sure about this. I'm not sure I'm gonna do this video because there aren't that many things that I liked and I was adding things to my favourites, you know, here and there. And then when I went to my favourites and looked at everything, I had 50 items in my favourites and it was really hard to choose. So I'm actually really, really happy and I'm so excited to open up this box. So before I get into the box, please do give the video a thumbs up if you want me to do a round up what's new in my wardrobe for autumn and show you everything that I kept from this week. Cause as you guys know, I cannot keep everything. And also please do subscribe to my channel down below if you are new and turn on post notifications. Okay, I'm gonna try and get into this box with my parcel knife. So before I start getting changed, I'm gonna show you some of the shoes and accessories I picked up. Uh, don't forget that everything I show is linked down below in the info box. So first of all, I'll show you these boots, which I think that if these are comfortable, I'm definitely going to keep them because they're gorgeous. So they're these grey, um, really lovely pale grey, which I love, um, faux suede ankle boots, but they have a really cute little dainty heel. I find so many boots now, because it's kind of like trendy, have more of a chunky heel and, you know, I kind of don't mind, but I much prefer them to be like this. And they have a really nice shaped toe as well. It's kind of uh, square, but rounded, like how I usually get my nails. <laughs> and they also come up quite high and by the looks of things quite thin, sorry, quite tight on the ankle as well, which I think is gonna look so cute. A little bit like sock booty-ish but a lot more elegant and pretty. I also got another pair of shoes, which aren't my usual cup of tea, but I did think they were really cute. So they're these um, blush pink mules and they're actually real suede and I just thought I really want like a nice pair of flat shoes. I don't have that many. I wear a lot of heels and I wear a lot of boots with heels. I think sometimes I just need like a nice cute pair of shoes to slip on that are flat and comfortable. So yeah, I thought these were really cute. So I love the colour. I'm not 100% sure I like the style, but I might try it on with a few outfits and see what I think. I know these are really, really trendy. Everyone has them. Not everyone, but you know, they're like a trendy shoe. I'm not 100% sure, but I think if I was gonna like any, it would probably be these, so I'll definitely give them a shot. So next I picked up this hat, which, oh my God, is too small. I knew I should have picked up a medium. I'll show it to you anyway, and I probably will actually exchange this for the medium because I think it's so cute. It's a little like felt fedora. I love a felt fedora in autumn. I just think they look so chic. And I think this will look so adorable like with an outfit like this. Just imagine this isn't too small and it's sat on my head properly. Um, how cute would this look? I really think a hat can just add a really chic, fashionable touch to an outfit. So I actually do want to swap this for a medium because I think it's really cute and it feels like nice decent quality as well. The last accessory I picked up was this bag, which I love. This was actually pretty expensive for H&M. I think it was something like 60, 70 pounds because it is real suede. And I just think it's adorable. It reminds me of Serena van der Woodsen. Um, so it's like a, a suede hobo bag. So it's got that really like slouchy, relaxed look. Um, I feel like it also has a bit of a Chloe vibe as well. Like the gold ring and the plaits and the whole kind of boho style. This would be such an adorable everyday bag um, and it would go with everything as well. It's such a versatile colour and I think if you wanted to invest in a new like nice quality winter bag but you still want to keep it on the high street then I think this would be such a good option. I just think it's so cute. So now let's try some clothes on. <laughs> Um, so starting with this jumper, which is so cute. So this was really affordable. It's a really nice uh, bardo off the shoulder jumper, which I know may not be the most practical style of jumper for autumn winter, but on those days maybe where it's not 
freezing or perhaps you're indoors like at work or at a friend's house or shopping or something like that and you don't necessarily need to wrap up really warm this would be perfect because um, it's very relaxed it's very casual and kind of no effort required but that off the shoulder just gives it that flirtatious like fun playful feminine edge that makes it look a lot nicer than just an ordinary jumper and the color is really pretty too it's just a nice subtle rosy blush um, and it tucks in really nicely to skirts or shorts i just think it's a really nice affordable thing you can add to your wardrobe that's just gonna look super duper cute but still stay you know appropriate for the season i really like this and i think i do want to keep this so next i got this top and um, please excuse my bra strap i forgot to wear a strapless bra and i couldn't be bothered to change although actually i think it looks kind of cool anyway this top caught my eye because it was from their sustainable section which I think is really cool. Obviously, fast fashion is a little bit of an issue right now. Well, not a little bit, it's a big issue right now um, in terms of the environment and working conditions and everything. I know it's a big deal for a lot of people. They don't want to shop fast fashion, but it's difficult because, in general, the more sustainable fashion you do have the heavier price tags and not everyone can afford it. So I thought this was really cool. And H&M, I do think, are really good. They're quite forward thinking with this kind of thing. Um, and I thought this top was really, really cute. I liked everything about it. I liked this asymmetric neckline. I love how it's off the shoulder on one side and then kind of boat neck on the other. I think it looks really elegant, but yeah, a tiny bit playful. Um, and also, I don't know why, but I just love these kind of shorter sleeves. Whenever I wear a long sleeve t-shirt, I always like pull them up because I just don't like to have them coming all the way down. So yeah, I thought this looked really cute. I liked the colour, obviously, and I just thought it would be a really nice kind of staple easy top to wear you know with a cute skirt or jeans or shorts or anything um and it would go with a lot of the things that i had it feels like really nice quality it was affordable i'm not sure exactly what makes it sustainable but i'm sure it will be on the product description um on the page i'll link it down below of course um but yeah i actually really like this top i want to keep this as well i think it looks great with this skirt and i just think it's a really nice casual feminine top that doesn't look boring which i'm all about Next I picked out this, which is a pretty simple, like, fine knit, but it just had a few details that I thought were cute if you were looking just for some autumn, like, staple tops, but you don't want just, like, a really plain, boring one. I thought this was nice because it had a little bit of balloon in the sleeve that stops here and it comes in really slim on the wrist, which I think is really nice. It just adds a little bit of shape and just something about it. And also I thought the neckline was quite nice. It kind of has that Meghan Markle, um, like boat neck, like kind of straight neckline that comes up a little bit high. Um, it's just very, very elegant. It's just a really nice, easy top that you can wear with so many different things, especially something like this skirt, which can I just say is the best find of the week and it's only day three. The only thing I would say is it is a little bit itchy. Like I can see myself after like an hour of wearing this kind of wanting to take it off. Unless you were to wear like another top underneath it, it is wool after all, I think it's wool. Um, so yeah, it is cute, but just be aware it is a little bit itchy. Okay, next I picked up this little uh, combo, and I think it's really cute. I honestly think that this looks like a very expensive outfit. Um, the skirt was not expensive at all. It's just a faux suede. It has a really nice concealed zip um, and like a gold buckle to do it up at the top, which I think is really cute. I think apart from the big crease down the middle where it's been folded, it sits nicely. Um, and yeah, I actually really like this. And on top, I'm wearing this gorgeous little knit. It's actually cashmere, it's 100% cashmere. So it was a little bit more on the expensive side for H&M. I think it was around 50 to 60 pounds. But let me tell you, other places will charge you a hell of a lot more than that for 100% cashmere. So I thought that was really reasonable and I love the way this fits. I love like the long short sleeves, you know, I think it just looks kind of 60s, just really cute. And this is the kind of thing that would just tuck into everything. Also, when something's 100% cashmere, although it's very thin, which makes it very comfortable, it keeps you super duper warm just as much as like a chunky knit would. Um, so they had these in so many different colors. They had it in pink, gray, um, camel, cream, black maybe. Um, so you have a really good choice. And I'd actually really recommend it if you do have a little bit more to spend, because like I said, if you go to, you know, somewhere like Reese or Whistles or um, Club Monaco or some of the more higher end brands, you will get charged double for a 100% cashmere top so i definitely think it's worth it and i think these look adorable together so yeah i'm really really impressed with the quality of both of these things so far really so impressed with h m and i can't believe i haven't done it before so i have you guys to thank for that the last few items i have to show you are all coats 
firstly this one, which I am so impressed with. As soon as I took it out of the uh, plastic, I was like, this is gorgeous. It's a really beautiful faux suede jacket. It's very lightweight, but it's perfect for the weather that we're gonna have probably until like November, until it starts to get quite cold. Um, it's such a gorgeous color and it's just really pretty. It's so simple. It has this kind of like tie, you know, you kind of can just tie it around your middle here which looks adorable and it just looks very expensive. It looks like a luxury jacket in my opinion and it also feels really nice too. Then the last thing I bought was this jacket which I really like and um, it does look a little bit different to how it did online. I thought it looked ever so slightly pinkier online and I expected it to be a bit longer but to be fair there was no image on the model, it was just an image of the jacket so you know this is what it is and I do really like it I think it's gorgeous it's not very thick so depending on what you want it for whether it's an autumn chuck on jacket or a warm winter coat it's definitely not a warm winter coat but it is very cute I feel like this color would go with like my entire wardrobe anything that I wore underneath this it would look cute and yeah I just love a bit of faux fur in autumn winter it just gets you in the mood, you know, it's something that you can't do in summer. I think you could wear this very casually in the daytime, but you could also wear this on like an evening out as well with a really nice dress and a pair of sparkly shoes. I think this is so cute and this is not something that I think would go out of style like next winter for example. This is the kind of thing that will just keep on, you know, you can keep on bringing this out and it's always going to look cute. So. Yeah, I'm really tempted to keep this as well. So guys, that's the end of my H&M haul. I'm actually so impressed. Honestly, I did not expect to find as many things that I liked that were really nice quality. I guess I had a kind of preconceived idea of H&M. I don't shop in there very often, but I'm definitely gonna look in there from now on. So thank you so much if you were someone that suggested H&M to me, because I think this is probably one of my favourite hauls so far. I really hope you guys are enjoying this week and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new haul. Bye!